Now, I make this video to prove once and for all that Wilt Chamberlain could bench press 600 pounds, at least in his prime. All right, I've been told by many people over time I state this claim uh, that I'm exaggerating, uh, that it's not true. Find a source, find him saying this out of his mouth instead of just specula speculation. I said, look, you know, I've, I've saw this twice in my life, all right? I, I read it in a book. I think it was called Wilt of Goliath. Uh, and I also read it, excuse me, saw it on television. I remember it was when I was in high school, but I could not recall the talk show or the show I saw it on. But I remember him saying it on a show that he could bench press 600 pounds when they was comparing him to Shaq. I couldn't recall what show it was. And I was like, oh, you're lying. You know, you don't know what you're talking about. All right. And I remember, like I said, during the time I was in high school, so it probably would have been 96 to 98 or something like that. Or maybe 95 to 98. All right. There's been so many people who have verified the strength of Will Chamberlain. Uh, Whether well, you go to people who played with him and against him, um, Al Adels. Um, I remember uh, reading an account from Bob Lanier. He was a big man himself, 6'11", about 250 to 270 pounds. And uh, he stated at one time when Wilt didn't think the officials were looking, uh, Wilt picked Lanier up and placed him in a better position for him, for himself to get positioned at Wilt uh, in the post. And he said that the way that Wilt lifted him was like the way you would lift a toddler. Will Chamberlain was a guy who... Uh, you know, uh, once dislocated a person's arm while blocking a shot. This is a guy who strength has been verified by Arnold Schwarzenegger of all people. This is a guy who played a finesse game to avoid hurting people. This is a guy who uh, says that the way the Shaq plays, the physicality, wouldn't have been effective against him. Um, Artis Gilmore, who I think is the second strongest player of all time. Um... Uh, he states that he didn't think that Shaq's physicality uh, level play would be that effective against him. Um, and so on and so on. So for those who want to see and hear Will Chamberlain say out of his mouth that he could bench press 600 pounds, here's a video I remember looking at when I was in high school. Congratulations on the book coming out, Who's Running the Asylum. You have some... Uh... Make some uh, pretty interesting statements here. You you talk about in your prime how you think you would have maybe uh, stacked up against Shaquille O'Neal, or you know, well, what do you think might would would have happened? You versus Shaquille O'Neal today, because people sometimes lump the two of you together. Yeah, because we're both terrible foul shooters. But uh, <laughs> other than that, uh, uh -huh. Sha Shaquille and I is like comparing me with Clark Gable. Mm -hmm. In this case, I'm Clark Gable and he's uh, he's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he played. I thought you were going to be self-effacing for a second, no, and then no, no, nah. no, no, nothing like <laughs> Screw that. Screw that. No, he uh, plays an entirely different type of basketball game. Mm -hmm. than I do. He uses his physicality, mm -hmm. and he's a big, strong young man, and uh, that works well in today's game. Mm -hmm. If he was facing me and other guys of my time, not so, not so good. I mean, I'm a guy bench pressing around 600 pounds when I was at my 600 best. 600 pounds? Yeah, right. So, I'm at 510. Uh, That's pretty good. I yeah, just work on it a little while. <laughs>